Hello everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, well, it was our very first video, actually. Uh, we ended up having a really good time. We had uh, our first city built up. And uh, with three population as well, that moved up pretty nicely. Now we're about to attack the sanctuary. Hopefully I can get in here and get a second outpost. Possibly to just connect it so I can get the other uh, expansion, the star. So just get another outpost and possibly, like, if we have time enough, build another city uh, somewhere uh, around there. In two turns, we are going to have an extra one, which I definitely want to put in. Uh, I don't care about industry as much. Industry is not going to be important, so I'm going to put him in the science department, money, food. All these departments are going to be the most important ones. Uh, I want to do that for sure. Let me uh, see really quick. Uh, what do I want to do here? So the ransack was successful here. We ransacked successfully the sanctuary. We want to do the same thing for this one right here. But I'm not going to be able to get there in time. So I think I want to move there first with my units. I want to uh, be able to move towards this location and start building up my outpost like I said I would, uh, I would do. Uh, it's going to uh, take a lot less time to do that instead of trying to go to the sanctuary and, and all. And uh, what else do we want to do? Do we have anything else? Don't feel like it. In one turn, we're going to have domestication done. So let's skip the turn, boys, and get it. There we go. World deed unlocked. Good. So domestication research. The taming and breeding of wild animals uh, such as pigs and buffalo brings new means of eating and working. So we can now build animal barns. We can get scout riders, which definitely want to do. It's cavalry, basically. And we need horses, though. Uh, so we do need horse, uh, horses in order to build those cavalry units, which we don't have that resource. Uh, we need horses as well in order to build the animal barns. So we don't have any of that resource. So we can't do anything with that. Uh, that's unfortunate. So we're just going to keep... Our, our thing going right here uh, we have also uh, for the new technology which one would we want to go for could go for wheel and everything but I want to go for these one of these two so carpentry lumber yards and, uh, and archers oh yeah archers for sure yeah we want to go for carpentry boys it's gonna it's gonna be better for us if we do that uh, we're gonna go over here I kind of want to explore over here to see what's going on but let's explore here I do need some fertile lands in order to get a, a second city going. I uh, don't know whether or not it's a good place to settle, settle for a second city and whatnot. Oh, there's uh, something we could take right here. Uh, there's... What is that? Gemstone? That would be really good. There seems to be water source right here. So I want to be near the water for every single city that I got. So maybe over here could be a good place to settle. Let me see the land. Is it fertile? It is because it's a lot of snow over here. I don't want to settle here. I can get an outpost, but uh, I don't want to get any snow uh, over there. So, okay, that seems like it's a good thing. We got another thing merchants. Uh, so, I gotta get uh, up to that in terms of money gained, which is gonna be done easily. All right, so that is done. We can skip the turn again, boys. Really want to get to the new era as soon as possible. We did, still don't have anything uh, to do right here. Uh, let's let's head over there. We're gonna get uh, that uh, resource at the same time All right, so carpentry research that uh, upgraded us. So we got the carpentry now Good and at the same time we can see there's a water resource. I don't know if it's a lake or if it's the actual ocean uh, I hope it's the ocean if it's the case I'm definitely gonna settle here. I think I might settle anyways. I'm, I think I might get uh, a second city right here, boys. Get a one, uh, get a second city going right here would be great for us. Uh, over here, we got four population. Uh, do I want to drop in, in the money or the science or or the food? Which one do I need to upgrade it in the most? Let's put it in the food so we get uh, extra populace even faster in two turns instead of three. Uh, we are going to start, uh, we're going to quickly build that farmer's quarter just because I want to get that lumber yard going. Boom, there it goes. So now we got a lumber yard. Perfect. And with that, we got four popula uh, population right now. I want to get as much more than that. I want to get much more than that before we start building up archers and stuff, a real army. 
Uh, I want to me make sure that we're good on our side so let's just keep uh I, I really don't care about industry as much and we've got garrisons for each places so we're good on that part uh land units spawn i want my land units to spawn over here that would be the best option please and we're just going to create continue to like go for the food as much as possible boys so we continue to go for the food so uh i'm gonna go right here i don't there's not really any options right here to build any food, right? Not really any good idea for the lands, for the food and stuff. It's much better to build it in the actual city itself. So we're going to do that. So in the meantime, we're doing that. Uh, for our new technology that we want to focus on, we can go for calendar or fishing or masonry. We're just going to finish it off with calendar once and for all. Just so we can get uh, artisan quarter, uh, quarter and uh, granary done. Can't do anything with that unit yet. No, nope, cannot do anything. So we're just gonna keep skipping turns. All right, so we're in uh, 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 turn 12, boys. We just need to. So we're gonna get the scientist star as well because we're uh, we're gonna research that technology. That's what they want us to do. So how far do we want to go? Do we want to settle here? So let me see the options right here, boys. Seven, eight, six, fifteen. This is by far the best one so far. What about this one? 7, 11. Okay. And uh, over here to 4, 2. Not really. Uh, 7, 3, 4, 6. So good options overall. 10 of food right here. But this one, I mean, this 6, 15. Would be by far the best one. Yeah. This would be by far the best one. So we're going to go here and we're going to we're gonna create an outpost right here. Which gave us the calendar, uh, uh, the calendar right away, because we got a, a, a star. So that is perfect. We're just gonna need 80 uh, influence for in order to evolve uh, this place into a city. We can get artisan squatter as well. So uh, now that is done. World deed accomplished as well. So we got a world deed. We uh, on discovered the mount, uh, um, uh, Mount Vi Vi Vesuvius, boys, which is basically a world a wonder. Uh, natural wonder which is really good so what does that do specialist craftsman wh what does that do exactly not too sure what the was that supposed to do uh for us what if i okay so if i build this that's basically gonna give us okay got you uh, i'll definitely build that there we go why not yeah because we got some gemstone right here I was able to create uh, our artisan squatter which means that now we we are able to produce some gemstone and stuff like that. Some precious stones, basically. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Definitely going to uh, create Kong, uh, the city of Kong. Uh, it's definitely going to be a city. So I'm definitely going to make sure that it, it becomes a city. Uh, next up, over here. What do we want? We got uh, irrigation, bronze working, masonry fishing. I want to go for flood irrigation. Uh, definitely flood irrigation would be a good option, especially since we are near the sea. And over here, as you can see, it's a good place for flood irrigation. We can build some stuff right here. Uh, channels are going to prevent that from happening. And I think we are good. We don't have anything else. So let's just skip the turn, boys. There we go. Population gain. So an extra populace over Kerma, which means... We can put it over to science. We're going to put it into science because money, we're fine. Uh, we're doing fine with the money. Okay, so now that we got that going. I could, yeah, I think I need to start. So let's with quickly build farmers, a farmer's boys, quarter. The people certainly have enough bread. Will five circuses be built next? Okay, so uh, it, it, it is telling us that we have enough. Add an artisan's quarter. So we can definitely get some artisan's quarter right here. These are special things, though. So definitely want to get that. So there we go. We got an artisan's quarter right here. We're going to get one done right here as well. Every single one of the resources that we have available to us, I want to get those, you know. I really want to. So that's very important for us to do. We also have a civic available or a society thing. Uh, first off, I want to... Quickly build that. So quickly build the granary over here. Which is definitely something we want to do. We're at up to 57 of influence. And uh, I think we're good. So I got 5 population. I want to... Any armies don't feel like it right now. Let's keep working on our place. 
Uh, we got, like, in one turn, one more turn, we're gonna get another populace. We got a lot of food. Industry is fine for me. I don't care about industry, so just keep working on the food, boys. Keep working on the food. Uh, I'm actually gonna do one food right here. There we go. Just a quarter, farmer's quarter right here. In one turn, uh, we're gonna have irrigation as well. For Kang, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, for Kang itself, we need uh, we need to be at 80 in order to for it to work. We actually have a combat situation that can happen, so let's go into combat with a mammoth. That's gonna help us out. Uh, we're just gonna do manual battle really quick and set our things up. So we're gonna set uh, you, uh, buddy, right here and end the deployment and start attacking. Start attacking, boys. Boom, all right, there we go. So we don't have the, uh, the thing on right here. Let's just start attacking him really quick. And uh, this guy right here, can't move him anywhere. So I'm guessing he's just gonna, he's just gonna stay put. I'm gonna end the, uh, end the round. They're gonna start attacking us. The mammoth's gonna start attacking us, but it's gonna kill itself by doing that. So there we go. Battle finished. Victory, boys, and that's 20 gold for us. There we go. Perfect. That's what I like to see. We protected our lands, and that is perfect right there. So uh, now that we got that, our people are going to need to heal up a little bit. So I'm going to let them heal up. In the meantime, we do have something going on with the society, boys. So Empire Foundation. By what right of rule? So show the details so we can finally get our first civic. What do we want to do with it? Do we want uh, to go for natural right or divine mandate? Uh, that would be plus faith in our territory or plus five influence on the main plaza. I think I want to go for natural right. Let's go for natural right. Definitely. Even there we go. That's done. Let's keep it we also have legitimacy we can do, boys. It's our place. So we can either get customary laws or codified laws. Um, so minus 10, uh, minus 20% on attached post cost and absorbed city cost, which would be really good. Uh, create an outpost cost minus 50% uh, though. I, I kind of want to get the codified laws. It seems like in the long term it's the best thing for attaching outposts and stuff like that. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that one. Once you discover writing, you can literally throw the book at them. Yeah, literally throw the book at them. All right, so uh, that is done. That is gonna be perfect. Yeah, irrigation is gonna be done in one turn, so we are good on that. Uh, that means that should allow us to. It's gonna cost a lot less to attach outposts and stuff. Uh, for say, so if we want to attach an outpost, this one is too far away, so I can't attach it. But if I was to create another outpost right here, it would do that for me. I would be able to uh, spend a lot less money on it, which, be, uh, which would be really great for us. So let's end the turn. We're at turn 14. Uh, we got irrigation done. Perfect. Another era star unlocked. We're getting there, boys. Oh, two more era stars, and we're going to switch a new era. So we just need uh, to go to 12 population right here. We need to get that high up in influence and we need another territory basically. So uh, like a city or something, uh, another city. Okay, this got you. So uh, I'm still healing up my units. I'm going to stop doing that because I want them to start moving. And uh, ooh, that that is another uh, thing that we could get right here. Not too sure. Where I want to go next? Do I want to keep exploring right here? Or do I want to go and uncover this? I think I want to go and uncover what's going on with these lands right here. Definitely would be important to do that, boys. Let's let's do that for sure. I think I might be tempted to uh, as well. Because now I've got six population right here. Uh, I'm going to put one, throw one into, uh, into the money. Uh, what I'm going to be tempted to do here is... Uh, since we're gonna get another population right here is start building well first off we're gonna build the we're gonna get rid of the farmer's quarter we're gonna get the public fountain right here there we go so public fountain has been built which is giving us even more uh, stuff like these a uh, flood irrigation we uh, do not need to get any right here what I want to do is start building up we got enough people now populace I want to build up an army right here as well 
if with this army we're gonna get two archers and two warriors uh, with this army i'm gonna start exploring on the east as well which definitely something i want to do so uh let's get some archers first uh for before that though i do have a pop-up event right here so i want to see what that event is game of prophecy so with the empire thriving a new game uh hailing from a foreign land begins the population uh, everywhere you go, the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye, insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under instruction in your palace court. But the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divina uh, divination as well as entertainment. Gasps could be heard as the game's prophecy be uh, became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Silence them with the money. I got plenty of money. Overlook or uh, heed. I'm just gonna silence them. There we go. Got the money. I'm gonna silence them. Don't need to uh, to do that. Don't need to worry about that. So population already. Yeah, I definitely want to uh, get the archers right away. So get rid of one of my populace straight away. We're gonna get an archer ourselves an archer, boys. All right. So we got our archers. Uh, now we want to go for a second set of archers. Uh, just like that boys. Uh, so definitely go for the second set of archers. So let's build them up So we got a warrior unit and uh, we're gonna keep it at a science right here So now we're just gonna have to wait for the next turn next turn. We're gonna be able to build that so I'm guessing you know what since we're gonna get in the next turn. Let's just wait it out. We're not gonna Or I could quickly no. let's quickly build them Quickly build them in the next turn. We're gonna have him anyways. So food. We're gonna get rid of that we're gonna get put that guy into the science. So, all right, that's uh, that's perfect. And let's build it once again the food. Let's bring it back right here. All right, perfect. Uh, for that now, next one that we will need to research for the technology, a uh, masonry would give us stone works and a for uh, some forced labors. So allow population to become soon in order to complete construction instantly. But I don't really need that because I'm using the money instead. Uh, fishery. Definitely want to do that. We want to go for fishing, boys. We are near the shores. We are near the, the seas. Very important to do that. Uh, and for that guy, we still need uh, like one or two turns, more turns, boys, in order to create that city. So let's keep it going. All right, so one more populace for Korma. We can create our first religion. Polytheism. Or shamanism, boys. Plus two faith on main plaza or in administrative uh, uh, center. Let's do shamanism. There we go. We're going to do shamans, boys. That uh, is the way I'm going to go with this. We've got my brand new army cleaned up. Much better than the other one, which is a bunch of scouts. Uh, we've got another event right here waiting for us. Uh, we also want to build... Yeah. I want to build that for sure. But where do I build this? That's the thing. So where do I? Where am I gonna build that? I can build that easily in one of this district right here. Yeah. Um. Let's build it over here, boys. There we go. Right here. We're gonna build that. That we're gonna be working on the stone rings. That's what we're gonna be working on. It's gonna take six turns. So definitely do that. Um. For you, you got enough points to create a city to evolve into a city. Let's do it, boys. Second city, here we go. So we got, uh, we need one more uh, era star. So boom, just like that, we got a second city. Uh, we're gonna do city growth as well. In one turn, we're gonna have a population right here. We're gonna need to create an outpost. So this is what I'm gonna go do with this guy. So I'm gonna go around right here into this land. I'm gonna connect an outpost to this one. Uh, we also are gonna need a bunch of stuff, but we're gonna build all these. So, uh, where do you want me to put that? 5, 4 right here. 3, 4, 2, 4. So, it seems like this is the best place to do it. Let's build uh, the pyramids right here. Okay, and next up, boys. We are going to build a lot of stuff. First up, though, flood irrigation for sure. Uh, boom, that is done. So, we are protected. Public uh, pottery workshop. Pal uh, palisades, boys, for walls public fountains and granary so all of it it's all built up we're all good on that side now the thing i want to go for is definitely want to go for the stone rings as well so we're going to go for the stone rings over here as well 
We're both going to work on the stone rings. So the two cities are going to work on the stone rings together. And that should about do it, boys. So that is perfect. And now the religion, as you can see. Uh, our faith, it's growing. This is our religion. We're converting all of them to, uh, to, uh, to our religion and stuff like that. Uh, this guy, I need to send him over to the over to this land right here now. So need, definitely need to send him over here. We're gonna create an outpost in these regions and connect them to uh, this one right here. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, and we got our unit right here. What do we want to do with him? Before that, we do have an event waiting for us to be interacted with. New Civic Blades of the Empire. Can't do anything with it now, so we're gonna have to come back to it in the next turn. Uh, I'm gaining 36 civic per turn, boys, or influence, which is crazy. All right, for, so this guy, I want to explore with him. Since I'm exploring with him over this side, I'm gonna explore with him on the east, boys. So he's gonna be going, yeah, he's definitely gonna be going on the east. So he's gonna go through our territories. Stay safe for now, buddy. There we go. That's gonna be perfect. So. Definitely gonna do that for the next era star. Just two more populace, two more population. We're gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, we need. We, we got one in food. Okay, good. It's gonna get in one turn again. Of, oh, okay, so we're doing good, boys. Let's just get this turn again. Population gain for both of them, I believe, for both my cities. And we got the next era star unlocked, which you already know what that means. We can move it to the next era, boys, which is gonna be great. Uh, one more turn and we're going to get the stone rings built up right here. Uh, first off, we are going to look into our new era. So we need to uh, go look for a new era, boys. So we're going to be entering the classical era. Um, where do we want to go with this? Do we want to still be Nubians? If we keep at Nubians, plus 10% uh, uh, additional fame uh, that would give us. Uh, the fame which is right here, we're already way up in terms of the fame we don't really need that we could be romans romans would give us plus one human uh, unit slot available for each army would give uh, that means we could be able to be at five units instead of uh four but i feel like we're fine we only really need that too much we could get praetorian guards though uh Achaemens, uh, the persians city cap plus two city cap uh good enough i guess the maya Industry, influence, that's combat strength, combat strength for these, food, performers, pretty good, that's pretty good right there, uh, the Car uh, Carthaginians, 20% on all constructibles, buyout cost, that would be definitely something I would go for, I feel like, because I'm buying a lot, uh, Greek, science, uh, plus two money and producing money tiles. I'm gonna go for the Carthaginians, boys. I'm uh, Carthaginians. I'm gonna go for them. I'm gonna adopt that. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna be them. We're gonna be the Carthaginians. Look at that armor. I look badass, boys. That's a badass armor right there. So there we go. So we are now the Carthaginians instead of the Nubians, and we're entering the classical era as well. Uh, next thing as well we're gonna need to do is right here the picking of paltry so another event the art of the divination is spread across spreads across the empire priests search for messages from the gods and animals and trails the flights of birds the wheeling of the stars in holy deco uh, decoctions uh, and elsewhere now however the practices uh, have become so commonplace, is so bi uh, so bizarre that the whole empire is sliding towards chaotic superstition. Even the eating patterns of chickens are being interpreted interpreted by military commanders. What to do? Embrace uh, celebrating on two cities for five turns. Forbid fanatical. So plus twenty faith. That's stability, and that would mean science. I'm gonna reason. I want the science, boys. I want the science, and we almost got fishing done right away because of that. That would have been fantastic. Is that all of that is done? Don't need anything else right here. I do want, as soon as we're done with these stone rings for the next turn, I'm gonna build a garrison unit. I do need a garrison uh, uh, thing right here. 
How many turns? It's gonna take three turns right here to get another populace, which is fine by me. Uh, what we're gonna do is build an outpost right here. I wanna do that. So let's build an outpost nearby right here. If I can do that. Oh, I need 45, so I'm gonna need 45 in order to build an outpost. So we're gonna stay in that region. We're gonna sleep it off. We're gonna skip uh, the current turn with this unit because uh, I wanna use it in order to create an outpost. Uh, over here with this unit, we're gonna start moving right here and start exploring. So what do we got right here? We got a bunch of, uh, of wood, so it looks like a lot of forest right here waiting for us to be dis uh, to discover it. Uh, discover it. And that's about it. We don't have anything else. Okay. That's all good. That's all good, boys. So I think we really legit don't have anything else to do. Uh, we do have... We can choose a new civic. That's right. The, the army composition. So let's choose that. We can have conscripts or professional soldiers. Uh, plus one combat strength on units. Industry cost. Let's do uh, combat strength, boys. It does seem logical boys. that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. There we go. So we got professional soldiers. And uh, our religion is all across the board everywhere. So that is fantastic. We're really doing well, boys. So let's enter the new era, the classical era right now. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggled to control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble their stability. Speaking of dealing in intangibles, am I about to see lots of offers that can't be refused? I don't know what he's talking about, but look at that land, boys. That fertile land. Oh, look at my cities. Because we entered the classical era, look at the... All the little buildings changing up, the looks Devotion of them and stuff and like that. That's great. Authority. Good. Just be careful of fanaticism. All right. So we got Napata converted to a new religion. There we go, boys. The world deed unlocked as well. So all of that, boys. We are doing good. We're now in the classical era. Fantastic. We're well above everybody else. Well above everybody else, which are they're still in the ancient era for them. Uh, Napata has converted. We have one populace. We're still waiting on the other one to come by. Are we? We're not building anything. So I did want to work on a garrison. I wanted to get a garrison done. It's gonna be done in one turn, so I don't need to quickly build it. I think uh, I should probably build it near the shores, or near here, I guess. No, near here. Right here. We're going to build it right here. That's going to protect us uh, big time. We're I don't need to quickly build it or anything. Uh, next thing I need to do, though, is over here. Definitely need to uh, work on an outpost. So let's get ourselves an outpost right here. Which one would be best? 7, 8, 10, 5, 10, uh, 10, 2. Bunch of 9, 2 right here. Uh, anything that's closer right here, tend to right here. I want this one. So uh, it tells me the outpost, the range that it would have. If I put it right here. Okay, so it kind of tells me the range. So this would have the range. I need to be in that side if I want to have the range uh, to be in the range of Napata. Otherwise, I would have to connect this one to my current city, uh, first city, which I don't want to do. So I want to uh, choose a better one right here, I guess. So. Uh, we want to go, I'm actually going to go right here, create an outpost. Yeah, I'm going to go right here. The, the outpost is going to be right here. I'm going to create it uh, on this side. Kind of wanted to create it on a solid rock, but I guess I'm going to have to do that instead. All right, that's perfect. The outpost is going to be created in one turn, which is going to be good for us. Next up, uh, we've got uh, these guys right here. Let's keep exploring. Keep exploring uh, right here, buddy. Okay, so we can't explore any further. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. So we got all these wood tiles, these fertile lands. Uh, we're going to need to basically chop up that wood eventually if we want to get stuff done uh, properly in these lands. 
uh food let's yeah let's keep going for food right here in one turn we're gonna have another extra populace don't want the industry i want to want to go for science again really want to work on that science boys and i guess we're gonna just keep working on the uh those food uh food, uh, food tiles can i do anything here it's a bunch of fours and twos so there's nothing here that's good enough there's an eight right here uh that's where the one I, I keep working on and stuff there we go so we're in turn 18 boys and now what that does is uh fishing we now have fishing which is really good we can have a column and uh some fishery uh, resources so that's really good that's really going to be helpful for both of our cities uh definitely going to do that right away so definitely going to build that right there yes quickly build that at that there we go get the fishery done right away so now we got the fishery as well perfect and i guess i don't have anything else going on right here so what i can do is uh, uh definitely you are going to work on that uh, I, i'm going to keep working on the food i guess uh right here uh plus 10 food yes please let's get the plus 10 food right here all right that's perfect and now that can con be connected so i'm going to connect this to this one okay all right so i'm going i want to attach this one so i want to attach this one so let's do that boom it is done boys so it, is, it has been attached and now nepada gets 32 food boys return look at all that money hey, hey, look at all of this i'm gaining because of the two cities that i got that's a lot that is a lot and over here uh, you can definitely, so I'm going to get rid of the former squatter once again. And we're going to build arbors. We need to build our arbors across the board. Which one would be the best one though? That's 7, oh, 7, 12. I can't see anything because of that goddamn thing right here. 6, okay. 7 and 12. I, I want that. I want that one, boys. That's the if one I want. Comes. Definitely going to create fishery resources. You, you got to create fishery resources artists. across the board so we can create them into our districts as well. That would seem to be the best option. So let's get a one right here. And there we go. Perfect. So now we got two arbors right here and another one right there. So we got plenty of arbors. We're making lots of money because of that. We do have an extra populace. Which I'm going to send him to science again. Really upgrade the science as much as possible. Alright, that is perfect, boys. We're really doing good. How many turns? One more turn for the next populace. Good. And now I need to actually uh, build something else. So might as well just keep working on this, uh, this food tile. Okay. Next up, I've got my two units I need to uh, work on. It's going to be done in one turn. So... Uh, we're gonna do all of this in the next video boys we moved up quite a bit now into the classical era and uh, we've got a, t a second city going for us right here five of population for kerma one of population for napata but it's gonna grow fast like the other one and uh, we're doing really good we also have the stone ring so that means we got arbors as well and we've got our religion official religion boys so we're doing really good so remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.